All right, guys, I wanted to show you guys my biggest pickup ever uh, to date so far. And uh, it's not actually this. You can tell it says electronics on the top. It's actually this. Uh, I ended up uh, going in with the wife and buying a new house. And so just wanted to give you guys kind of a quick little tour of the, uh, the biggest pickup that we've made so far. Uh, I love the, the hardwoods on this floor. It's just really amazing looking. Um, but anyway, front door. And then there's a little coat thingy. Dining room table is going to go over here, and I know the lighting's really bad right now, uh, but that's just the way it's going to have to be because I'm literally moving stuff today. A little artwork is going to go up there above the fireplace, and then like a couch set in here. And, uh, and I'll have an updated video once we get like the newer furniture and stuff. But so check this out the fireplace is on one side, and then come around to the other side, and so it's a dual fireplace. You can see like right through it and stuff, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, got the uh, the mount for the the new TV. I think it actually might be too low. I need to double check. Um, I have, might have to remount it higher um, to fit the 70 inch up there. I'm gonna have another couch over here, a couch back here, back door area for the dogs. Um, I'll just kind of just show you it real quick. Just it's actually just a side yard, not a ton of space, but we are okay with that because literally there's like a little sand thing back there was a sand pit. But we're gonna actually use it in Alicia's, my wife, wife is gonna make, I said her name, whoa, crazy. Uh, <laughs> Alicia's gonna make a, a garden out of that. Um, a lot of people get pissed because I call her wife, but that's, uh, it's, it's an, a more of an endearing term than you guys might uh, get out of it. Um, anyway, kitchen area, definitely like the kitchen, definitely like the fridge, this fridge is monstrous, it's supposed to be really, really nice. Uh, and I don't know much about it, dude, there's like a whole bunch of, things and stuff in here like look at all these things there's even a little soda rack and like check this one out this is the coolest thing i saw it pulls out and like it collapses it's like a freaking transformer it's pretty awesome um and then it's a dual freezer and i don't even know the purpose of this yet let's double check that's kind of cool gotta clean it out a little bit it's a little bit dirty um that's the the new fridge and then man there's just tons of counter space in here looking forward to this um, I wish this was one of those sinks that was like down flush so you can just wipe stuff into the sink But that's one of the things my only complaint about this house was the countertops. It's not they're not granite uh, But uh, but I will be uh, hopefully updating those eventually gas stove and microwave above This is granite the center island piece top is granite and that's kind of what I think we're gonna go with with the, the countertops But way down the line. There's no hurry our awesome uh, people That's uh, my friend Leslie that helped us get the house um, gave us a care package full of a bunch of stuff with it in this bucket. Very, very cool. Also got a, a doormat in the front of the house with our name on it. Really awesome. But lots of cool stuff in this care package, which is going to be really helpful, including that little measuring tape. I'm going to grab that. Um, this is just a downstairs area, and there's actually a, a little bathroom in here. I haven't even looked at it in here yet. Just a little bathroom in here. And then we have a little closet over here as well. Deep, deep closet, though. And the little crawl space down underneath it. So that's the bottom half. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and, and head upstairs, man. Let's go continue this tour of the uh, the new house. And uh, I'm excited to, uh, man, I'm really excited to just stay the night here, my first night with the wife and stuff. It's just definitely going to be awesome. But uh, let's go this way first. We'll show you guys the stuff you guys probably care about. Well, actually, probably don't care about much of this. But uh, wash and dryer set, really dope wash and dryer as well. It was included in. Uh, with the cabinets above, very dope. This is one of the spare rooms, so there's it's actually a four bedroom house. This spare bedroom is just like puke green, and we're definitely going to be changing this one. I'm not sure. Um, we're going to paint it like a gray color. We already have the paint, just didn't get it in in time to paint the the rooms yet, so we're going to do it later. Uh, but definitely need to paint this little guy. And then this one is going to be the new sneaker room. So this is going to be the future sneaker room. Um, I'm not really quite sure how I'm going to lay it out yet. I know I'm going to be able to store some stuff in the closet. This is 100% dedicated to sneakers. And then if I have an extra room, I might put my monitors up here in my gaming setup as well. So I guess we'll see what happens, but this is definitely the new sneaker room. Not super duper huge, uh, but it's a decent size. It's way better, way bigger than the other one. Uh, giving me a lot more space and I'll get proper lighting in here and everything. So looking forward to that. Spare bathroom. Nothing too crazy, just a bathroom. Whoa, who's that guy right there? Um, 
And then, uh, yeah, this is the kind of the nursery, I guess, which we don't have a kid yet. So people are asking, no, we don't have a kid yet. Uh, but this will be the, the, you know, the kids' room eventually. And this was actually the nursery um, previous with the, with the previous owner. So um, very small room, but, uh, but nice. And this is the third room right here. And then moving on over, we have the master bathroom, dual uh, sinks, which is going to be essential for us. And then a uh, bathtub, dude, a big enough bathtub that I can fit in for once. <laughs> and then we have a shower uh, over here. And then the little uh, John John's over there. So that's pretty much that. And there's me again right there, just uh, wandering around. This is a walk-in closet. Pretty big sized closet, actually, for just two of us. Um, I think we'll be able to make this work well. And then there's a little, looks like a little crawl space up there. Uh, master bedroom. This is a pretty big room as well. And uh, yeah, man, this is where the magic happens, MTV Crib style. And then we're gonna have a TV right there against that wall. I'm probably gonna mount it. And then I think um, the wife wants to use this. This is like a little extra bonus room. So I'll get back here and show you guys real quick in the corner of the room. So this is a pretty big size room. Uh, the, the closet's right there, the bathroom's to the left of that. And then we have a bonus room in the master. So. Um, I mean, I could make a little desk area in here or whatever, but the wife wants to use this as a workout room. So I actually have a, another TV that's going to go in here and be the, the TV for like the workout room and stuff like that. Uh, so I can finally start getting into shape because I'm, I'm so out of shape. It's ridiculous. But I think it's a great idea. I think the workout room will be well in there. I get, get, get some like mats on the floor and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We can also use that that TV for like movies and stuff if we want. But that's pretty much the, the, new, the new house, guys. Um, Nothing too, too crazy, but really exciting for us because uh, we, uh, man, it's our first house we get to buy together. The, the previous house that we're living in right now, I bought by myself um, back when I was in college. So it's exciting to, uh, to be able to, to make this step with, our, with each other and, and buy a house together. And, and we got to choose it together and we're just really, really excited. So um, that's pretty much it, man. You can see there's just some small boxes moved here and there. The majority of this, the move is going to be happening later in the week. And uh, man, I'm just excited to get everything moved in. I'm excited to get this TV mounted and to be sitting right here watching TV. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, with the fire going if we want, and there's gonna be a big rug down here for the dogs. It's gonna be pretty fun, man. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I know it, this was not the pickup. I'm not gonna actually even open the box because it's just a bunch of random stuff. Um, so no sneakers in this video, but uh, give the video a thumbs up if you guys uh, like the video anyway. Sometimes it's fun sharing other things um, with you guys other than that. And then, check this out, I got a KitchenAid. This is actually my, this, well, okay, so this was ours we got for our, our wedding present, but I actually had one um, before we got married by myself, which, what dude has a KitchenAid, right? And then the, the rice cooker, which uh, is funny because I heard in Asian tradition, the rice cooker is like the first thing you bring in the house, and like, I don't know anything about that stuff, but um, I, it literally was the first thing that I brought into the house, and so I guess that's good luck. If you guys know anything about that, maybe, maybe leave a comment and, let me know what that's all about. But it literally was the first thing I brought in the house, which I felt pretty good about. Um, and then, oh yeah, I guess I'll show you one last thing. Um, the, uh, the DJ equipment over here. So here's the car over here, the garage. And then, I heard, look how much room I have for my equipment over here. Dude, this is crazy. I have so much room over here. It is absolutely insane. And then we got a hat rack and then maybe some shoes down there. And then we even got storage up top, so this is going to be like storage units and stuff. It's going to be awesome, dude. Um, anyway, that's that's the grand tour, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching again, guys. We'll catch you guys later. Uh, peace, guys.